hello! Today I'm here with a new uh, video and today <laughs> I'm here with the first impression again. I'm sorry, but I'm like a little bit behind with my kind of schedule that I tried to have in December. So you just have to bear with me. But today we are, we are, I am testing out the palette that I'm so excited about. It's the new Lunar Beauty Eternal Eclipse. And, okay, I'm just going to take this out. Lunar Beauty has really been a brand that I started to love during last year. So the palette looks like this. So it is like the Strawberry Dream. And uh, I really like this. <laughs> and the palette, the colors, looks like this. So... This is one of the 15 pan palettes. Maybe they have only done 15 pans? No, Life's a Drag was smaller. Um, but this is a 15 pan palette. And I guess that this is kind of neutral, but with a blue grungy vibe to it. So <laughs> when they first like released when they show pictures on this I was like okay I, I I need that in my life so I am going to do a look with this today and I actually think I actually think I will do something I, I think I will do halo and I think I will do blue grey and the silver we will see so I'm going to prime my eyes and then get started so I think I'll just will go with this, not swatch anything or something like that. <laughs> we'll see how this goes. So I will take Lagoon and take it in my inner, this is our outer and inner and do like a halo or yeah, start the halo and I don't know how dark this is. We will just have to wait and see. I don't know how the pigment is. It looks good, so just we just get started. Okay. So far. So good. Maybe it is like, maybe it is just, maybe it is just, <laughs> collect myself, maybe it is just a little bit patchy, maybe it is the brush, or just that I need to build it up, and I don't know if you can hear the cats outside, but going like crazy. Now I'm starting to doubt my decision to do Halo Eye. But it was quite a long time since I did Halo Eye. Okay, and I don't know if I want to take a, like a lighter shade and smudge this a little bit. I don't know. But now I'm going in with the dark or the same shade in here. And this is like one thing I think it's a little bit tricky with a halo is when a shadow isn't like super opaque at once it's hard to like smudge it in here without taking it too much but I actually think that this works and I think I need to stop I, I, I need to stop it here and my plan was to take this I'm not going to try to pronounce this this silver but I don't know if it looks more like a topper I think I actually have to swatch it to see how it looks if I need maybe literally it seems okay now you can't see what I'm doing but like on my finger it looks super opaque, but when I take it on my hand, 
can you even see this it isn't like that opaque so i might think i should go in with a glitter primer to really get it stuck in there or maybe i should take another but i think this will look really really cool okay should i take a glitter primer and just go with it or should i try without the glitter primer first i maybe i take a brush and see how it picks up okay it looks a little bit flaky on the brush so i'm going to take my a glitter primer from nyx and cut this halo i just need to find a brush to cut the halo with and then i'm just going in with the glitter primer here where i want my halo to be and i it's not always that like i cut out the halo but I think I need to do that. And then I'm just taking my finger and tap the edge. So it isn't like too much product. So it will look wonky. Is that even a word? <laughs> and then I'm going in with the silver. And we will hope. I hope that this will work. Maybe this isn't a good idea. I say that and I tap away. I can actually think this works and I think it was the right decision to cut this halo. Okay, I'm just going in with... I actually think I will take this one, Meteor. Um, the shade next to the silver and just have that on the edge instead of taking this dark shade. I wonder if this will stick because it's nothing like the glue. The silver was all over the glue. I actually think this this looks good it was a little bit funny that I've done like free makeup looks this year or this is my third I don't know <laughs> I don't know when this is coming up and I do this I did the same thing in my first impression with the Raw Beauty Christie and Colourpop collab that I like mixed two shimmers. Okay, I I really like that. Now the only thing is I feel that my crease is a little bit naked actually. I usually don't care, but now I think it looks a little bit not that good. So I am going to go in with something on my in my crease and i think i want to take one of the mattes god i have brushes like everywhere why why don't i just put them down i want to go in with one in the middle row i think my neutral row and <laughs> did i just put the brush in my mouth yes i did i think i might try this one the pinkish one that might f look strange but going to try it. Now it's a dog outside. It's not like a big dog. And just smudge this a little bit here. I usually... Or sometimes I have a crease shade when I'm doing a halo. Sometimes I don't. But when I do, I usually go in with that first. And um, now I... Now I... I don't know if you can hear the dogs outside. It sounds like they are fighting. Okay, and I will go in with the dark blue, the lagoon, and smudge that a little bit in my crease as well. 
So like a little bit together with rose thorn. Maybe I should just have taken rose thor thorn. Rose thorn. And then taking lagoon in my crease and then do a halo. I think this is the best I can do. I hate when I like um, react to the sounds outside because they sound so loud. And then I talk about them in the video and then I like edit the video and you can't hear shit. Now it feels a little bit better. So I will do the other eye of Cam. This is like when I'm doing a halo, I always do like this. I do one eye finished and then I start with the other. Not maybe all the time, but pretty often when I do a halo. So I will fix this eye, fix my base and I will use a blush and highlight from Lunar Beauty because I want to keep it Lunar Beauty. So I will fix that and then I come back. So it's time for the under eyes and I think I will just go in with... Maybe I should take two shades. So I think I will go in with Rolf Thorn. Thorn. This one and then Lagoon. And I just took the wrong brush. And I just want to go in with Rose Thorn because I think Lagoon. I just need something to blend it out with a little bit. Because it is a pretty dark shade. So I'm just going in with Rose Thorn. I'm going to connect the rose thorn with the rose thorn I have here. So, and then I go in with Lagoon to deepen this. Shit, so I almost said deepen this look down on my under eyes. I like try to connect it better with my um, lid. And this I tap off because I don't want this to be like too intense right away. I want to build it up a little bit. So, so I will take something in my waterline. I think I have silver somewhere. Put on mascara and a lippy and then I come back with my first look and also like not a review but a little review but it's not a review but it's a review. So this is the finished look. For my waterline I used a kicker from Colourpop and in my inner corner I took one from my Alchemist holographic palette from KVD Vegan Beauty. I want to use this more so I'm like okay I'm going to use this so much as an inner corner highlight this year and I took the blue sapphire on this one. And um, for my lips, I took NYX Liquid Suede in Soft Spoken. <coughs> Soft Spoken. And yeah, that is the finished look with, where have I even put it? With the Eternal Eclipse palette. I like how it looks. I like, yeah, I like it. I have used... Okay, should I do a little review? Maybe I should. Um, we can start with a Lagoon shade, this dark blue. It worked good, but I had to build it up a little bit. It wasn't patchy, as I said first. It was just like that. It's not super opaque, but it's no problem to build it up. It's not patchy. And then I used this Rose Thorn in my crease and under my eye. It works really good. I think though with Linear Beauty and this is my third palette I try from them. Some of like the neutral shadows they aren't like exactly as they are in the pan. Do I need to set it maybe a little bit more upright? Um, 
but no problem with that and then I used okay I'm going to try to pronounce that adamantium I have no idea this one it feels more like a topper shade it worked really good with the glitter glue but I think if I didn't have the glitter or the glitter primer it wouldn't have looked this good so this is more like a topper and then I used meteor yes to blend the halo together with dark shade I uh, I don't have so much to say about that because I haven't used it on its own but I think it's a little bit more of a shimmer than a topper like this is more topper and this is more of a shimmer and yeah it's a good palette I think it's like the other Lunar Beauty palettes and I I just really really love Lunar Beauty I think they do really nice color stories and I love that they are doing so different palettes and I really think they are stepping up their game it's like getting better and better so it's I'm so looking forward to what they are doing next but yeah I really like the eternal clips I'm going to do more looks with this because 2021 2021 is going to be the year where I play more with my makeup that I already own so yeah I really hope you like this video and if you're not subscribing to my channel please do so you don't miss any of my videos and I hope I'll see you in the next one bye